Okay, on these three problems, these are a little bit more complicated than our last three examples, but if you use our four equations that we discussed, um, which are these four, cost times markup percent equals markup, cost times one plus the markup percent equals selling price, meaning you're um, going straight from cost to selling price and avoiding the actual dollar amount, and then selling price times di percent discount equals discount, and selling price times one minus percent discount equals sale price. If you can know these four equations well, then these next three problems aren't too bad. But you have to know these equations, so I suggest pausing the video and um, writing down these four equations. Okay, so for the first one, it says a store discounts an item 40%. So we have the percent discount, and it discounts it to $33, and so the $33 represents the sale price. Our goal is to find the selling price, and so we're going to use the equation over here, which is the last one that says uh, uses selling price, percent discount, and sale price, which are the three things we're talking about. So we're going to say that the selling price, which is X that we don't know, times, and then this is the key to this, is you're going to subtract away the percent discount from one. And so now you've connected up selling price and sale price, and that's going to equal sale price, which is $33. So that means you're going to have 0.6x after you do the subtraction equals 33. When you divide both sides by 0.6, again, this is a um, tutorial about percent discount and markup, not about computation. So just type this into a calculator and you're going to get x equals $55. The fifth problem here says so the store marks up an item $32. So you know the actual markup. And it says this represents a 20% markup. You know the percent markup. You want to find the cost. Well, that's going to just be equation number one. That's the one that connects cost and markup. So you're going to do X times the markup percent, which is just 0.2, equals the actual markup, which is $32. If you divide both sides by 0.2, again, on your calculator, 32 divided by 0.2 is $160. So the cost to the store was $160. If you wanted to know the selling price, it would be $160 plus $32, which would be $192. Um, but again, that was a pretty simple equation problem as long as you knew those four formulas or those four equations that can help us so much on these problems. All right, the last one. So the store marks up an item 60%, so you know the percent markup. If they sent the price of the item at $96, meaning after the markup, they're selling it for $96, what was their cost? Well, we're going to use equation two that compares cost, markup percent, and selling price. And so that is the cost of the item we don't know. If you multiply that times one plus the percent markup, because you're adding that on to the um, cost, the one represents the, the cost, 0.6 represents the markup. That equals the selling price, which is 96. So if you divide both sides by 1.6, you end up with x divided 96 divided by 1.6, which actually is a nice round $60. So again, all of these problems are made easy by using those four equations. And so anybody that's wanting to understand and do well on markup and discount problems, not only should memorize those four equations, but should take the time to really understand where they come from.